Hello everybody and welcome to Planet Zoo. Um, right now what we're mainly going to be doing is that we're going to be uh, just building a typical zoo. Nothing really special or um, we're not doing franchise. We're kind of doing complete creativity here. Um, reason being is I just want to get in. I want to build a zoo. I want it to be a nice calm experience. It doesn't need to be much more than that. <laughs> but um... Yeah, no, I hope you enjoy. We'll be working on this elephant enclosure, the Indian elephant. So right now you can see it's a barren wasteland. That's mainly because when I do build these enclosures, I do terrain first. Then when I put the animal in, I adjust the, the painting to them. And what I do next is then I start adding the plants. I start adding the habitat after that and essentially start building around the animal instead of building first and then having the animal come in. Um, so yeah, I essentially build first and then plunk animal in. But before we go into that, let me give you a quick showcase of the other enclosures. But we'll start off right here in the beginning of the whole entire zoo. Okay, so yeah, this is the, um, the entrance of the zoo. What I did was, because firstly we're in the alpine biome, I think we're in the, the North American segment. Um, not entirely sure. I kind of forget at this point but so what we're going to look at here well giving you a bit of a tour so I basically this is the entry point where all the guest spawners are I didn't really do much in terms of decorating this place I did add like three statues here but typically um, I just wanted an entry point that kind of made a bit of sense okay <laughs> um, so yeah it's basically just meant to Make a bit more sense when they come in and not have it spawn out there in the middle of nowhere i don't know just added a little bit of immersion so i just kind of did like a little alpine hill over here and then basically carved out the hill and then put the entry point in there i added a little bit of statues here just kind of for a little bit of a grand opening um the problem that i had is that i don't really know how to build basically a banner-esque um structure between the two pillars Trying to give like the name and title of the zoo and all that. Um, but yeah, I might work on that a bit later if any one of you can help me with that. And then I had a little bit of a pond here. There's nothing in here. It's just purely for decoration. If you have any ideas that I could put here in this lake, I wouldn't mind. It's all upon improving and modifying and just betterment. Then we have the staff area. Note this is just a bit of a placeholder right now. Um, I'm not really going to keep it as such because I mean these buildings are a little bit plain and in comparison to the whole theme of the park it doesn't really fit it's either that I will maybe keep them here and just kind of bury it off so um, people who come in don't really see it and you know I was just hoping for that all right then after that we have this little area over here which is basically the commercial zone essentially a little ramp up Go here into the hub, get your little bits of drinks and all that. This is definitely still under construction. Again, a bit of a placeholder. There will be a bit more improvements later on. Might actually just remove a bit of this path over here. And extend it a little bit further just so I can add a bit more of these little um, stands over here along this wall. And yeah, no. So at least we have a bit of benches where people can come and eat. And yeah, on to the enclosures, I guess. So this is the tapir enclosure, the bards or bears, don't know how to really say it, bears tapir. So I kind of went as much as I could for a little bit of a tropical look. And with the new update that came out, these things came out, or these little plants, I forgot what they're called, a uh, cordyline plant, there we go. <laughs> um, they added that and I thought it added a nice bit of color to the enclosure. But here we have our little guy, or little lady actually, I believe. I don't think it's a male. I think it's a female. Um, right, here he is. I really love the look of these creatures. It's absolutely beautiful. Such an elegant little creature. <laughs> I'm just going to let him run around for a bit. And disappear right into the bushes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to let him run again. I'm just going to kind of leave it on play for a bit. See if that maybe helps the little freeze glitch I'm experiencing. But yeah, after the tape here, we have something a little bit more spoopy. 
and I don't know if you'll be able to guess what's in here, but there's a nice little pool over here, nice little pride rock, well, I say pride rock, but not much. A little bit of a stretch out where uh, the creature can just chill here. But now if we have to go look around for it, there he is, Siberian tiger. Oh yes, make those sounds. <laughs> Yeah, so this is um this is actually the first enclosure I did, but I only added the Siberian tiger after a while. Like I, I basically had this little formation here and that little pit down there. It initially was just a sand pit. I was actually considering maybe putting wild dogs in here. But I thought, hey, with this little bit of a hillish um terrain that I've got here, might as well maybe put something a little bit more I was about to, is it three man? Yeah, I think it's feline. Canine is dog. Yeah, feline. <laughs> what was that? Um, but yeah, no. Uh, he 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 was added a little bit later, and he kind of just or she, sorry, she kind of strolls around this little park here by herself, as tiger should. And here we have the little bits of shrubbery that I put in place for it. Um. I do know that bracken, um, it usually grows where there's a lot more sun, so I thought, or a friend of mine actually pointed out to me, that I should put them on the outside of the tree line, and where the sun shines the most, and then within them, we should have a bit of uh, lady ferns, because lady ferns grow a little bit more on the dark sides of the forest, so I tried, um, I tried making it look as aesthetically pleasing as possible Vic oh it the Victor is a male whoops sorry Victor but um I made it as good as I possibly could or as pretty as I possibly could for our little friend down there and yeah that's our little Siberian tiger enclosure then we're gonna go on to my favorite animal or one of my favorite if not my favorite animal or mammal in the that currently exists we have a beautiful, I worked really hard on this enclosure, a very beautiful alpine slash taiga um, enclosure. I really invested quite a bit of time into building it. I really wanted to get the rapids done because I thought that was a very necessary addition for this creature. And I'm probably sure it's in the cave right now. There he is. Well, there she is. This is Chloe, the grizzly bear, and I'm absolutely in love with her. It's such a cute little rumptious little thing. <laughs> yeah, so Chloe roams these parts a little bit alone. As you can see, the guests have a little bit of a window down here that overviews the lake. Um, some they can actually see the bear when it's busy sleeping. I know it needs a little bit of privacy, but what you gonna do? <laughs> And yeah, so he comes or she comes down through this little pathway that I made here, goes down there, goes for a drink or a swim and goes into the cave and sleeps. She mainly spends majority of her time there in the cave. A lot of the other time she spends actually sleeping here. She never really comes through the rapids, which makes sense because it's a little bit hard to access. Um, but also she loves playing around this customly made um walking stand that I made for her. I know it looks a little bit funny. It's nothing as real nice as the one there in the Siberian Tiger one, one of the presets, but I tried. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we have a lot of trees and I really tried going for the whole look of trying to make it look as natural as possible. I wanted to add a little bit of blues and a little bit of flowers there just to change the color up because I know that where bears typically reside, this not an overflow of trees like in the forest or something like that. It's kind of a mixture of plains and forests, as far as I understand. Um, I can be heavily corrected on this, but I just really enjoyed making this enclosure. I know that with some of the trees, it probably doesn't make sense in their, pr in their particular placement. But um, that in terms of just purely for aesthetic and look. Just wanting to make the enclosure just look a little bit more vibrant. Instead of just having one tree type, it's 
it may take away from the reality from it all. But anyway, without further ado, we've been keeping this poor little elephant waiting without his enclosure for a while. So this one, I just got her, so I can't remember. It's Amruta. We're going to get some more females in here soon, so I am trying to make sure. Holy shit. That is huge shit. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap, okay. That's what I'm gonna be dealing with. So, um... Yeah, I'll probably be adding about maybe... Three or four more female elephants. I know that with, like, um... Again, my, my friend... In terms... Yeah, he's, he's a whole weird animal stud. <laughs> he knows quite a lot more about me of these things. And he does give me some tips on how to make it a bit more realistic. We're going to be seeing him a bit more here. But, so I'll be adding a bit more females. I'm not particularly sure of adding males. Just so that it's as close as it can possibly be. Plus, look how pretty that is. Anyway, so okay, let's look at what she likes. In terms of environment, she goes according to grassland, temperate, and tropical. I think what I'm going to do, because I know what they particularly live in is kind of like a dry, oh, come on, dry forest. Where it's, it's not, it's not as lush and, um, alive, you could say, as a typical rainforest, but it's a bit more... A mixture, of, a mixture of um, Kurua, um, savanna esque, as well as uh, the forest. So let's go try and see what we can do in accordance to the terrain, at least. Uh, yeah. So we'll go over here. So she needs a lot more soil, and that's what we're gonna give her. So we can go for. I like using the soil dark a little bit because it kind of adds a little bit more, you know, fertility to the soil itself. What I might actually do, I kind of add it along the, the edges here. Let me quickly just add a little bit more sand to the equation. I like my sand along the waters. I'm using the light sand because in the tiger one, the tiger one, the coarse one, is a little bit more lighter. I don't know if that's just for me, or if that's just what it is. What I can do here is I can add a little bit of normal soil here on this end. Yeah. Uh, I want to make it a bit heavier because I don't want grass growing so close to the little barrier. Then heavier soil, a little bit more inland. Look how cute that is. Good. My friend Robin also said that. Actually, what I might do is I might change it a little bit. Um, I'll make it a little bit of a mix between the soil and the, the grass. But what I'm mainly gonna do is here at the back, particularly here, um, I'm going to make it a little bit more, basically adding a little bit of forest here at the back of it, kind of to make it look like a bit of a backdrop because the only place they can really see from is there. So it's just to uh, sort that out. I pardon for the clicking, I just realized. Um, it's whenever I move my head that the uh, wire attaches to the headset kind of starts just clicking um, because it's a little bit loose. I've had it for a while now. Old headset. That's uh, a balloon floating. I think I can work with that. A little bit more longer grass though. Uh, Let me, let me just do like a whole refurbish here. I'll, I'll figure out what exactly it is that I want to do. This is a little bit difficult with this. Alright. 
add a little bit more snow in here. Not snow, sand. Sand in here. Okay, sorry if the music's obnoxious enough. Let me quickly see if I can fix that. Uh, soundtrack volume. Let's just keep it up to 50. Okay. Alright. So what I can try and do... Just kind of zigzag it all the way here. Not make it pop out so much. Just kind of give it the forest ground look. Where is she? I just need to use her stuff again. Okay, that's perfect enough soil. Let me actually... What I can do... We just add a little hill here. Like a little bit of a mountainous structure. Okay. A little bit of this. Chisel. Uh, let me bring that over there. Okay, what I can do... Trying to make this pop out cliffy a little bit more. This is mainly because what I want to do is just add a little bit more rock here. As well as just make the environment a little bit more dynamic because I don't really like the flat. Even though, it, yeah, it does make a little bit more sense for elephants. They wouldn't really go stretching around in very janky territory. But it's just for a little bit of dynamic. Also, it kind of gives them a little sense of privacy beyond what they are given. I might actually just put their stuff here. So that they have a little bit of privacy as well. Okay. There we go. A little bit of rock. I don't want it to be too heavy. A little bit of grass. Just to make it seem like it was overgrown a little bit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, let's just soil that down a little bit. I oh, wait. Actually, what I can do is kind of do something like this. get that light dirt up there. My little elephant that you had to wait so long. Okay, that's too much soil. Ah, uh, I will just do this. Make it overgrown a little bit. So it's still there, but it's not as prominent. At least it will bring down the percentage a little bit. The wind, the wind, yes, the wind is howling. Yeah, a little bit of a calm place that we're doing here. I'm already getting tired. You're getting tired? I'm sure you are. Okay. This is like Bob Ross, except I don't have talent. I'm just really throwing in a bunch of shades everywhere and hoping that something pops up nicely. I have my weird preferences, I know. What I can actually do. <laughs> can I do that? Oops. And... Well, let me just get to my side over here. Kind of makes like little indents, kind of doing the roughens job for it. I'll just 
just smooth that out because I don't like it. Smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. Sexy. Yeah. Wait. I've actually been to much worse looking zoos than this. I will say. I, I <laughs> in the grand scheme of things I don't believe it's too bad. <laughs> Just giving a nice little area for it. Live out the rest of its lovely life. Wait, you shits in peace. Um, yes, I do have the welfare. Um, up to 100%. And that's really, I'm, I'm just in this for the building right now. Um, I'll, if you are interested, I maybe will do something a little bit more difficult. So you can see just how horrible I am at the actual aspects that this game has to provide. But I just want a very lenient, stress-free type of... Can the zookeeper just please pick up the shit? <laughs> God dang it. Um, and let me add a bit more grass here. There we go. And so it's blended a little bit. Mixture of soil and all that. A little bit more grassy here by this patch. I just do that. Might actually do a uh, rhinoceros next. But for right now, we're focusing on you, little Nelly. Let me actually quickly see if I can get more Indian elephants. Uh, I'm very excited to do primate exhibits. It's something I've been waiting to do for a while. I just never ever got to doing it. Particularly orangutans. I'm very excited to work with. That and chimps. And gorillas. Basically all of them. I don't... <laughs> it's clear that I don't really have that much of a preference. Uh, very excited to do crocs as well. Himalayan bears, hippos, Indian elephant. There we go. We have two females now. Awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll adopt you. And I'll adopt you. And uh, when we go to animal storage, storage, and to zoo, bring them here. Yeah. Right. That landed in enough. Where this game is going to be like the end all be all of my OCD. <laughs> Blending enough. Right, cool. Awesome content. <laughs> okay, so we at least have the terrains in a way that it's happy enough. Is this why it's moaning about soil? Hold up. This is meant to be rock. Okay, so the other two came in and I just rockified the rest of the cliffside here. The other two are very happy with the enclosure already so far. I mean, they don't have a choice. Welfare is 100. I could legit give them a dirt puddle and then they'll be happy with it still. But now. Okay, so now next is nature. So let's have a look here. Let's see. Wait, where, where are you situated? Let me be as accurate as I possibly can. Be. Um, natural habitat. Let's see. I'm gonna Google some stupid shit. Indian forest. Okay, first off, we're already getting Indian elephants. Okay, no, I, okay, I think I got a good image as to how this is supposed to look. And if that's the case, I think I did a quite good job. Look at them, they're migrating. Why is it only giving me like? Bamboo and coconut palms, and I need more. Let me guess. DLC. Let's pump that up. Anything? Ah, a broomstick. <sighs> now let me Google. What type of trees are there in Indian forests? Indian mahogany, Ashoka, Gomar, Curry, people, Banyan, Sal tree. Arjuna tree, neem tree, 
banyan ficus mango tamarind zip 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 mango trees but that's not gonna help me much banyan ficus ficus mango tree it's a little birch tamarind zig zoom zig zoom zig zig reactor zizifus agal mamurus philanthus dolce dry dry the dishes dry the dishes Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm going getting somewhere. What fucking trees are there? Ah, natural vegetation of India. Okay. Uh, forests. And they have fake of. Okay, shut up. I'll get to your trees now. African elephants would have been a hell of a lot easier. Is that at least no? Um, not gonna listen to you, Raven. <laughs> uh, let me just take away a line to surface. Okay. Let me let me do this. There we go. Gonna add a little bit of mossy rocks here just to give it some personality. We just need that, and voila, we've got a decent esque. I think it just needs a little bit more. Bamboo is what I'm working with. I would really appreciate if we skip the snow, please. Okay, I swear I saw other bamboo. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna... You gotta get with it. Okay, so then we can kind of start placing them. just put them in a bamboo for us because at least I can work with that specific parameter only thing when you try working with things so realistically unless you know every little bit of detail it's very difficult especially with these like what I can what I can and what I can't get away with but trying to at least see if I can Oh, 
put a guy in for little strips. I don't want little bits of patches. Think of that. Okay. Alright. Now it's time for the bushes. I'm gonna be working with the bracken again. I don't know about the golden rods. I don't know how they will feel about that. Let's actually quickly see how the elephants feel about the bamboo. Okay, they're cool with the bamboo. They don't want too much plants. Got it. Uh... So I think the bamboo is not enough. Okay, they do have lady friends, so I can try to apply the exact same knowledge that I do with the Siberian tiger one. And bring it here. There's the fountain bamboo, damn it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use that. <laughs> um, Cattail reeds. Blackthorn brush. Okay, here we have the bracken. Let's work with it. Now I need to do the align to surface. Oh, this is gonna look very weird. Oop. Let's look where the sun is. Uh, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of mimic the same environment as I did for the Siberian Tiger. Because at the moment that's the best that I can really work with. Um, I hope that well, the elephants seem to be at least okay with it here. I'm going to kind of put my trust into the game's logic a little bit. You know what, um, funnily enough for, for me saying it's, no, it's going to be stress free. I'm applying a lot of stress. <laughs> kind of very contradictory. Um, but you know what? At least it's coming along quite nicely. I'm, I'm quite liking it. I don't know how about you guys are feeling about it. But I'm thinking it's quite pretty. Putting them around these bushes. Not oversettling it too much. I'm legit using the sun as a guideline here. It's a little silhouette. Okay. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a number five. Damn. Just for a little bit of exoticism. More dynamic. I think that's my favorite word <laughs> for this playlist. Dynamic. There we go. Ooh, what should we go? Here.
Okay, now let's go for the lady friends. Let me guess. Are they gonna like this? Let me check the tag. Let's see. No hassle. Bunker. He's in the middle. basically trying to and make it seem that these plants are trying to stick out between the foliage in order to get more sunlight stick right above the horizontal axis in order to get more access to light kind of similar with here A little bit of that and a little bit of this you guys must actually let me know what games you want to be playing or you want me to play I'll definitely try and accommodate for that list uh, except you Dylan I know you're watching your opinion doesn't matter <laughs> Ah, I can just imagine you saying that. Eh? Yeah. Um. I might have an idea for that. But first, Lady Ferns. Nah, not Nettle. Um. Lady Ferns, Lady Ferns, Lady Ferns. There you are, Lady Ferns. Wait, no, 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 no. Oof, my god. I almost looked like a fool there. Once we get into actually building up a couple of these ferns, we'll be alright. I use the third and the fourth one, like a mixture of these two, mainly because the 
the fourth one has a lot more spread and the third one kind of just adds a little bit of uh different look to it just um instead of it being the same thing over and over even though it still technically is um just adds a little bit of variation in the whole mix and then maybe these ones are a little bit odd for me though this is just a little bit too out of place i'd rather just use that there we go Ooh, look at that, you're scratching. What time someone finally cleans up their shit? Okay, so now that elephant ears are there. Oh, content. Okay, they are happy with the plant so far. Uh, anything else that I can do just to spice the area up a little bit? I don't wanna really spend too much on it. I actually think that might. I don't. It seems a little bit lackluster. I mean, like. Let me add some more rocks in there. Take out the my surface. Oh, they're all lazing about right now. <laughs> Press of llama. Impressive. Most impressive. Okay. We're almost down here i'm just trying to do all, as many touch-ups as i possibly can to this area i'm not too sure how i feel about it I'm just probably just me overthinking at all i mean like maybe me complicating it just really you know unnecessarily complicates it more or less there let's go for enrichment let's actually work on the place itself and see if maybe i can fix it like that um indian elephant could potentially also add peafowl just to add a little bit of spice in there good rough um yeah i think we can do that Move that out now. I'll dent this bloody thing created. Mm. Oh, it's 
so much shit. Can't deal with these guys. Um, okay, if, if they want to sleep, they can at least sleep. Oh, at least sleep here. Oh, it's a little bit more small. Small flatbed area for them, and if they want to go play, they go play there. Just so that when they go sleep, they have a bit more privacy. Uh, habitat. I'm sure they would love a mud bath. And the question is, where the heck do I put it? Would that work? Ooh. Seems someone's very excited about the mud bath. Amruta. You were the first one I got. I'm hoping it. Okay, cool. Tavia. I should not catch your names. Adia. I think I've known an Adia before. Hmm. You're at least enjoying your little play area. Rubbing pillar. Here's a tire. Hope you have fun with it. Okay. Well then, that being said, I think that is the end of this enclosure, as well as the end of this episode. Um, let me know what you guys think of this little enclosure that I made. It's the best that I could do with the information that I was able to gather within the episode itself. Um, took me about an hour to do, but yeah, no, I'm very curious to see what you guys think of it. So guys, that being said, I hope you did enjoy the video. I know it was a lot of questioning myself and figuring out what the heck to do with this whole enclosure. I managed to get as much done as I possibly could for this video, but other than that, I do hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy... I would appreciate it like it lets me know that I'm doing the right thing here or playing the right type of content. If you want some variety in what's going on here, let me know. Um, any sort of interaction with me, I would heavily appreciate. I need interaction, you guys. Um, but yeah, it just lets me know that I'm on the right path here. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy. If you, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe and... I'll see you guys later. Peace.